ladies and gentlemen, it is time. It is time to get things cleaned up. It is time to get things cleaned out. And this isn't just going to be your normal run-of-the-mill spring cleaning. This is going to be a massive project that is going to greatly improve the look and general efficiency of things on this farm. Now, before I tilt the camera up, some of you, if you've watched my channel for any length of time, what you've noticed is that I usually keep the camera pointed uh, at the dirt. I do not usually show the background of much of anything. If I do, it's just purely coincidental because I'm the main focus is whatever I'm working on. And the reason for that is because there are a lot of piles of crap around here that I'm not particularly proud of. And while a lot of the reason this place is the way it is is not my doing or my dad's doing, it is the result of other people's actions nonetheless, and it needs to be cleaned up. And so, it's time. It's time to get this fixed, which we will talk about more in a minute. It's time to get this cleaned up. It's time to get that limb pile over there cleaned up. Okay, it's time to get this brush pile and that mulberry stump taken care of. It's time to fix the broken lean-to on the uh, shed. It's time. It's time to begin the grand plan of shuffling everything around, of getting the 602 moved, of getting the this thing moved, of getting that stuff cleaned up. All right, it's time. And the reason why it's time to do that is because Dad and I both have finally had enough of not being able to use the shop. And so the end result of all this cleaning that we are about to do is going to result in that Pontiac being gone, which affords us all this extra room to clean up all of this crap, build a real bench, not this half-assed thing that I made, okay? Get a real vice, not that sad little craftsman vice over there. It's struggling, okay? To get all of this cleaned up and fixed, to take advantage of everything. You know, we get the shop cleaned out, we get stuff moved around, we're going to get the metal racks moved. We're going to clean up this pile, and we're going to clean up that pile over there. You can't see it because of all the weeds. And we're going to move that pile, and it, we're just going to clean stuff up. And then we're going to take this whole area around the shop, and it's going to be rock and or concrete, not sure which. And we're going to have proper metal bins that are organized. That needs that stuff needs to be cut up. It's not necessarily junk. It just needs to be cut up. But I don't have time to do that. I don't have a spot to do it either. Because we look in the shop and, huh, there's no real lights. There, um, you know, the whole electrical situation out here, there are three outlets along this wall and that's it. There are no outlets anywhere else. That is probably from the 50s or 60s when this shop was built. I don't remember when. But it's old, okay? And look, a lot of this stuff that you see around here, if you can believe it, there used to be more trash in this shop. And if you are one of the first six people that subscribed to this channel years and years ago, you may remember that I put out a video about me cleaning out the shop. It wasn't very good, but you can tell it's a lot different, okay? But cleaning out the shop is the centerpiece of what's going to make this operation something, Okay, because we have just been struggling our asses off up until now and getting this shop cleaned out is going to afford us access to things that we would never have been able to access before. Okay, can you imagine if in a video I can open that freaking door and I can pull an entire vehicle in here and work on it? Okay, can you imagine? And then if things really work out, we'll get the storage building taken care of. So none of this stuff will be here. It'll all be nice and open. It'll let us finally utilize this air compressor that's back here the the motor and the i think the motor shot or the compressor part shot but you know we'll be able to use this tank and we'll have shop air and we'll have shelves and we'll have a bench vise and then we'll be able to get a little tire machine we can do our own tires and it's just going to be wonderful it's going to make things work so much better around here it's going to be so much easier for us to do things which means it's also going to be faster and therefore cheaper Okay, we can finally get some proper tools instead of these half-ass rusty dull drill bits. You know, the little, the bins of whatever rusty tools I've been able to find that probably came from Harbor Freight 40 years ago. Okay, we're going to fix all this stuff. 
and it's going to be wonderful. We're going to clean it up. And the reason I'm bringing this up in a video is because it's going to be the subject of the next several videos because um, it's, it's a lot and it may not be particularly interesting to you, but it's going to be very interesting to me. It's going to be wonderful to be able to see what this place looked like. And if you can believe it, and I am not kidding you, if you can believe it, it used to be worse, like way worse. And it's gotten better, but we had to do everything the hard way. All of this stuff is what was usable out of a junk pile that ran from probably right here all the way around back to where that international is. Okay, this whole thing was an enormous junk pile. All right. And one of the first things my dad and I ever did to clean anything up around here is that we use that old 743 Bobcat, which is uh, over there somewhere. And we came in here, we started picking stuff up, and Dad took a lot of that steel, and he made these metal racks, and we put everything on it here, and we cleaned a bunch of stuff up, and it's much better than it was, and I've picked up a little bit every year. Every year it gets a little better, but now it's time for the big push, okay? So, I'm going to keep this kind of brief. We're going to go over the plan of action, because there's, there's a lot involved. In order to get the shop cleaned out, which is the end goal... All right, we don't have to have it completely cleaned out. The storage building takes up about a third of the Butler building here. And the Pontiac takes up about another third. And then the remaining third is divided between this section and then this little strip over here, which I will show you because I haven't really shown that. Uh, that's that's water heater for my house whenever we build that. Um, so yes, we have narrow walkways and see, this is the most organized this shop's ever been is right here with this shelf. And I love it. I think this is really, really something. This probably isn't going to move, but you know, I've got boxes of parts and stuff up there. And this is about as organized as I can really get just because I don't have more shelf space and it looks bad from a distance, but it's, trust me, it's a lot more efficient than the way it used to be. Okay. So in order to get the shop cleaned out, we have to get the Pontiac out of here. Okay, well, in order to get the Pontiac out of here, we're going to jack it up, put casters under it, scoot it over, and suck it out that door onto a trailer where we will take it to another spot on the property and leave it because I, I don't really want to screw with it. Now, I've said before, and I'll say again, if anyone watches this and you're interested in the 1948 Pontiac Silver 8 Streak two-door, you send me an email because we could probably work something out. I don't want the damn car, but I don't want it to go to the scrapyard. So anyway... In order to get the Pontiac out of here or over to this spot where we can pull it out the door, okay, as you may notice, well, there's a grazer in the way and there's a pile of crap in the way and there's an inner smashable in the way and all of this has to be moved and a little bit of dirt work has to be done so that we can come in here with trailer, get the car out. So then you're like, okay, the biggest obstacle that's going to be hardest to move is that international. Well, it's broken. And it needs to be fixed, too, because when you trade that, you get a better piece of equipment. So the International needs to come into this shop to be worked on. Not the whole tractor, because um, it won't fit. The doors aren't tall enough. So the International has to be moved to where the Versatile sits. And the loader has to come off the International. But guess what? The loader can't come off of the International until I have somewhere to go with it. And you want to know where I'm going to go with that loader? Right here where the 602 is sitting. So the 602 has to move so I can take the loader off the International so we can move the International over here when I am done with the oil cooler on the Versatile so that then we can move the limb pile and the grazer and get the Pontiac out of the shop so that we can clean the shop up so that I can build a bench and get some lights set up and just some basic things. It's not going to be fancy. It's just going to be real basic. All right, fix the outlets and stuff so that we can actually do things. And uh, that's the plan. But it's not quite done yet because I have to have a place to go with this. And it's going to go clear over yonder around in there somewhere. And there's more piles of crap. So I have to go clean up two or three piles of crap so that I can move this thing so that we could take that thing off that thing and put it over here so that we can move that thing out of the well so that we can move that thing over here so that we can move the thing in the shop out of the shop so that I can put that thing in the shop and fix it and get rid of it it's it's very complicated you understand then that running gear is also going to move because we don't need it 
And then in addition to all this, you know, we've got like this thing to clean up. It used to be an old barn. And then we've got like this area here, which is a lot better than it used to be. It used to be that, you know, this, this trail that comes through here used to be about half as wide. Now it's twice as wide. And then, you know, limb pile there. And more piles. There's lots of piles. Thankfully, most of it is combustible. We can just shove it into one big pile, run the disc a couple times around it, and just light her on fire when we get a good wet day. Not too bad. And then, you know, it's just, it's a lot of work, okay? And it is kind of embarrassing for me to show this stuff because I like to be organized, and I like things to be easily accessible and to make it look like it's, you know, somewhat professional. And, uh... Well, this may not look organized to you. This is about the most organized anything is on this property. And it's not horrible. I mean, I don't mind this, but this is kind of a mess. And we just have a bunch of stuff like that that we just, we don't need. And uh, it could be better. It could be a lot better. But like I said, the center point of everything at this point on this farm, we've been struggling for years now doing things the right way rather than the common way, which I won't get into detail about. If you know, you know. But the center point, the point at which this farm is going to go from an operation that's struggling to an operation that's going into overdrive and about to really be successful is this shop. That is the focal point at which everything happens, okay? We get this cleaned out where I'm able to fix stuff. That means we're able to do more, which means we're able to get more. You know, it's just everything hinges on this shop being usable. Absolutely critical. Uh, and the things that surround the cleaning of this and the improvement of this building are also things that are going to make this operation more efficient, more successful. And it's going to look better. It's going to look so much better. And I could spend probably the next 30 minutes telling you guys about all the stuff that I want to do and have in here and all the plans that we have short term and long term for it and I could go on and on about that indefinitely. But for right now, I'm just going to tell you that this shop is going to get cleaned out. And it's messy, okay? Um, I, part, of the, part of the boxes and stuff are really my fault. There's a lot of boxes that probably should not be in here. But again, it's better than it used to be. And if you think I'm lying, you're dead wrong, okay? I promise you. Because I cleaned out this whole shop pretty much on my own. And it freaking sucked. And uh, I have made the most efficient use of this space that I know how, given what I have to work with. And I need to clean it up and stuff. Like the oil cooler for the Versatile is not done yet. That's kind of taken up some space. And that's taken up space and stuff. But, you know, even if this wasn't in here, it took a lot of work for me to clean this up to the point where I could back the grazer mower in. Not that derelict one that's sitting out there. The, uh, the one that actually runs, which is right out uh, there that one it took a lot of work okay um you know we just we need to be able to get stuff and upgrade our equipment like the 70 year old welder here and i mean it does pretty good for 70 years old but goddamn it's worn out old forney it's done a lot of welding around here and i think it's time that it uh that it retires i need a more better welder so yes, that is what's going to go on here. So the next several videos you see are most likely going to be of cleaning up the property. It is mid-February right now. February always goes fast, and we are running out of time before April gets here. Because before too long, we're going to be out working up the big field so we can plant some Milo. That is the plan. So that has to be fixed. And all this other stuff has to be done. It's very important. It's all going to happen at once. And there's going to be several hodgepodge half ass videos coming out about cleaning this place up. And I hope you guys will tune in for them. And I hope that you'll follow me along on this very important piece of farm history here. And if you don't want to, that's cool. Uh, I'll do what I can when I can. This is very, very exciting. And I'm getting a plan formulated for how to move everything. And we're going to get her done because the weather may turn south again. It usually does in March. There's a couple weeks where it turns kind of south on us but right now it's nice and we're going to take advantage of it and we are going to make hay while the sun shines so that is all i have for you guys today i will be back and you will be able to watch as we get this place looking less like a trash heap and more like a professional operation and i'm really excited about it i hope you guys are too 
So I'll let you all go. Appreciate you watching and hope to see you in the next one.